championships and be a consistent winner as Steve said. It's not about winning one year and then falling back and doing we want to build this thing the right way where it's long sustained success where the fans are happy, Steve's happy and uh, and we're winning for a long periods of time. So unreal. Uh it's unethical and morally reprehensible as far as I'm concerned. And you've got a Dolphins team that is flat out trying to tank. This might be the worst football team in the NFL I've ever seen. They've given up. They've just given up. I tried so hard. I would say the fans that um, I appreciate their support. And, uh, you know, they deserve a winner. Uh, we're trying to build them the winner. Uh, I would think the fans would also say that uh, the cycle we've been for the last 10 plus years is not good enough, and uh, we're trying to uh, right that as, as fast as we can. And, but um, you know, they deserve a winner, and we're trying to do that for them. Greer even said openly in this press conference, and he is right on. They could have pretty much whoever they want in the draft next year. They could do whatever they want, pretty much have whoever they want in the draft next year because they have the draft capital to draft to move up. Acting like I was part of your property. Remembering all the times you fought with me. I'm surprised. Well, we don't, you know, play well against a good team. You know, and execute. And that's what happens. So, uh, we got a lot of work to do, and, and that's, that's what we're going to do. When was the last time the Miami Dolphins had an elite quarterback? Tua, I believe, pretty early on has the chance to be elite. You cannot become great at something unless you are willing to take risks. So far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. With the fifth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select. Tua Tungavalawa. Believe, 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 believe,